Emmy Lynch here. Today we'll be talking about a problem with a girl on a lacrosse team. And we're going to tell you how we're going to fix it. Bam! Quinn and I being the captains of the team means that we need to emphasize the goals of not only each individual on the team, but the overall team as a whole. Here with us today we have Carly Goldstein, a senior on the lacrosse team who's going to tell us about how she gets motivated. Carly, what are some things that motivate you? Um, like the good relationships that I have on the team and the teammates really motivate me to work harder and when I see everyone else working hard it motivates me to do the same. What is some advice you would give freshmen today on how to motivate themselves better? I think that putting your best effort forward in everything you do um, will help and also like quality over quantity the effort that you give like you need to put your the hardest work into everything you do with lacrosse in the moment. Great. Thank you, Carly. Sophie, a freshman on a lacrosse team, is lacking motivation because she did not realize what it takes to be a Division I lacrosse player. She did not know that she has to maintain a 3.0 GPA, attend six hours of study hall every single week, and also have strength and conditioning three times a week on top of 20-hour weeks of practice. Throughout the lacrosse recruiting process, players are recruited by coaches based on Drucker's style of work. They're based, selected based on talent, experience, and skill, which is why our coach selected Sophie. However, she did not realize that she's just like any other freshman that has to complete all the requirements outside of lacrosse as well. This is slacking because we expected Sophie to know about these commitments and since it is a Division I sport and it is what she signed up for. Sophie's motivation is low because her scholarship money is low. Unfortunately, she was overlooked a little bit in high school, so she did not receive as much money as she should have. This is forcing her to do the bare minimum. Lastly, Sophie is not as motivated because of her lack of autonomy. Autonomy is one of the job characteristics that she desired. We realize that a major issue with Sophie's performance is the difference between can do and want to. Can do relates to the availability of resources as well as training options. Here at Elon, our lacrosse team is lucky to have the best of the best trainers and equipment that can get us better whenever we need. Therefore, can do is not an issue for Sophie. The issue for Sophie right now is want to. Her incentives, which we previously talked about before, are affecting her motivation deeply. In order to fix the motivation plan, we're going to take a look at Pink's three sources of intrinsic motivation. Starting with purpose, we can explain to Sophie that she matters on and off the field. For example, in the classroom, we can say that if she works harder, then she'll have less study hall hours and she will have less meetings with our academic advisor. In order to fix the motivation plan, we decided that we need to improve Sophie's need for achievement. In order for her to succeed at this, we need to focus on three things. <laughs> okay. Goals will be provided for her in order to get through each task one by one. Cammy and I will be implementing checkpoints in order for her to manage her time better. We met with our coaches and the five of us have decided that we will give her more consistent feedback, both good and bad.
Going along with the job characteristics model, we can increase job satisfaction. The reason we can increase job satisfaction is because it is the easiest core competency to increase. We decided that we can give out physical rewards like sprint cars, which means getting out of a run for more practice. In order to receive this reward, the player has to win a certain amount of draw controls, obtain a certain amount of cause turnovers in a game, or get an interception. Another thing our lift coach has introduced this year to increase players' motivation is he put up a board in the weight room that shows a ranking of how well each player has performed in a specific exercise for that week. This creates competition amongst this team to improve and increase their personal best each week in the same exact exercise. With just implementing a little things like this and the sprint cards, it will go a long way for Sophie. Seeing her progress come to fruition, we can get her to keep being satisfied with herself and she will notice that she's beginning to make a lot of progress. In conclusion, after we have met with the coaches and come up with plans in order to increase Sophie's motivation, we've implemented things like mentioned before, like sprint cards and the board thing in the weight room. For this whole entire past week of practice, we have noticed that Sophie is more motivated to try harder in the classroom and on the field. For our upcoming play day this Saturday at Duke, we hope to see our motivational plans for Sophie really come into play.